Great. Hello and welcome. Mike Butler here. And today's session I'm pretty excited about. I was actually working with a uh, uh, an investor last night and uh, uh, he prompted me to say, hey, um, there's some stuff that I need to share with you guys that you may not know about. Okay. And so what it reminds me of, I got to tell you a story about my dad and uh, it was a joke for him that the way he told it and everybody laughed and stuff, but uh, there's a huge lesson learned in, in my dad's joke here. So let me, I'm going to turn this thing off so it quits making a racket. It bothers you all more than it does me. Okay, there we go. Hopefully it'll be silence. So anyway, it talks about a farmer and a chainsaw. Okay, I don't know if you've heard me tell this before or not so anyway we got a we got a fellow owns a general store out in the country somewhere and he has a farmer that comes in they come in there and buy stuff seeds and tools and whatever okay and get stuff repaired and uh and feed for their animals i forgot about that so uh he has this farmer come in and this this guy had told him all about chainsaws told the owner of the store so the owner store said, well, okay. I'll, he says, here, I'll let you have a couple of them and see if you can sell them. And you don't have to pay me until you sell them. Yeah, well, who could say no to that? So this farmer comes in, a regular customer, and the general store owner tells him about this chainsaw. And he says, hey, this chainsaw, do this here, and it'll cut 10 times more wood than you can cut in a, in a day. And uh, he says, it's just super fast, best thing since sliced bread. And uh, the farmer said, well, no, I can't afford that. And he says, well, here, take it take it with you, and you bring it back next week and see see how you like it. So anyway, so the general store owner gives the chainsaw to the farmer to take home and use. Well, next week, here comes the farmer back into the store. And he's just all frustrated and doom and gloom and, and uh, very, very disappointed, almost to the point of being angry. And the general store uh, owner, the, he says, what's wrong? And he says, what's wrong there, Fred? And he says, well, you know, I tried this chainsaw thing, and, man, it wore me out. I can, go, I can cut faster with my own saw, my hand saw, than I can this daggone thing. And, um, and so then the general store owner says, well, here, let me have a look at it. And so he looked at it, and it had gas in it, and this and that. And he flipped the switch, and then he pulled the cord on it, and it started and started running. And the farmer goes, what's that? Okay, so my dad just had a better way of telling that kind of a story. But the method, what I'm trying to get across to you here is this word here. Okay. I'm going to bet 99% of us, including me, don't know everything that they can do. Okay, now, what make, makes me an expert in in our arena? Well, I just happen to know a little bit more than you do, okay? But there's a lot of folks on here that's a whole lot more expert than me and you. And and so this thing called a website, uh, in today's world, okay, you got to have a website. If you've got zero rental properties, you need to have a website, Okay. If you're an investor, you got to have a website, okay? Because no longer, no longer is a website a business card in the sky. If you're old enough to remember when they started selling these things for us to buy, and it was basically your business card or flyer or brochure out there in cyberspace somewhere. Well, today you've heard of Web 2.0 and 3.0 and all this and that. Well, today, okay, your website is interactive. It is, to me, it is the foundation for your real estate business as far as marketing, as far as sales, as far as finding tenants, as far as getting motivated sellers, buying houses, all this stuff. You can do it on your website. Now, there's all kinds of websites, just like cars, okay? And I like to find the one that, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Well, there's a website out there owned by Trevor Malk out on the West Coast. It's called Carrot. It used to be called Investor Carrot. 
and he couldn't buy the domain name called carrot.com. It became available, so he bought it. So he changed his company name from Investor Carrot to ferret.com. And he's probably branching out in other fields. Well, to make a long story short, he called me up and asked me why I'm not promoting his websites. And I said, well, now, oh, let me back up a little bit. Forbes magazine, if you heard of that, a couple of years ago, what have you, they listed what's the five must-have tools for today's real estate investor? Okay, number one was Deal Machine. Okay, and if you don't have it, I want you to get it. If you're serious about buying properties, DealMachine.com. Now, I want you to use a coupon code or whatever. Yeah, I do get a few coins, but it's M Butler. And if you do that, okay, I'll put $10 in your account. You get to try it free. No credit card needed. Okay. Put $10 in your account so that you can send out a couple of postcards. Okay. Because you got to pay for the postage. I'll do that for you. And David Lecco is the one who owns this deal machine. That thing is awesome. Let me just get right to it. Here's a brand new feature that I discovered in the last week with dealmachine.com. No longer, I mean, imagine this, pull up in front of a house, take a picture of it, boom, it pulls everything up. Owner information, all kinds of stuff. If there's a mortgage on it, what the balance is, tax liens, all kinds of stuff. Well, in addition to that, now that you can do that, stand in front of the house, take a picture of it, or any property for that matter. Now, the other thing is, you can just simply enter an address, and it'll do the same thing. The other thing is, imagine having bird dogs. If you've got a job, you could get up to three people, what I call bird dogs, they call them deal finders, and you can let them find some deals for you. Oh, there's an ugly house on the street. Maybe the mailman can do it. Maybe a paper boy. Maybe a Papa John's driver. Who knows, okay? Anybody. And they, they uh, happen to see a, a house that looks like it's run down or they, uh, like a mailman. All the house is empty, things like that. So they can put that in there. They don't get access to everything else, but that lead that they put into your account, okay, you get to access that and follow up on it. And what I do is if they, if any of them leads turns into something I buy, I've got a rule of thumb. If it's less than $50,000, I give them 500 bucks. If it's over a hundred thousand, I give them a, I give them a thousand bucks. Now, what about that middle part? Okay. That's you to decide. But anyway, so here's the new feature that I discovered in Deal Machine. Okay, what's Deal Machine cost? Two weeks is free. Okay. And then after that, okay, no credit card needed. Then it's $59 a month. And then they'll try to upsell you on a bunch of stuff like everybody else. I don't blame them. But I pay $59 a month, and I love it. Okay, here's the new feature that they've added. When you punch in an address or you take a picture while you're in front of a property, well, it pulls up everything in about two seconds. It's just amazing. And uh, I'm going to say if we got time, I could do it at the end, but we'll see. But anyway, the new feature is where, the, where it lists the owner's name. There's a button. Okay, it's not very prominent, but there's a little arrow button that put uh, it shows you all the properties they own. Wow. So I was working with a, um, I was working with an investor on a coaching session uh, last week. And we saw they were interested in a property. They had reached out and they can't, the, the lead came in across their website. They punched it in deal machine. And lo and behold, they got to see all the other properties they had including the home they lived in. So instead of making one offer on one house, I said, well, let's take all the properties except for the one they live in, because it's priced a whole lot higher. Let's make an offer on all of them. It's always cheaper to buy in bulk, isn't it? Okay, so that, that one's still pending. Now, Cliff Hayden, he's not on here. He's one of our Platinum members. Uh, he did that when he had his full-time job. He was terrified. And uh, yeah, it's probably been 10 years or a little more ago. He made an offer for $480,000 cash in 14 days. He's terrified. He says, Mike, I don't have $480,000. I said, well, the sellers hadn't agreed to it yet. 
We don't have a contract. Don't worry about it until they sign it. Well, guess what? They signed it. Okay. And here's what he did. So we worked it out and it was a home run for him. Okay. He ended up selling two of those houses to his family doctor. And he got financing for it that fast. And he, it didn't cost him any money. In fact, he put money in his pocket for making that offer. But anyway, the, the magic with this one here is now you can see everything they own just to click of a button. It's awesome. Okay. So, and you can add photos and notes and all that. This is your follow-up machine. My my old my system back in the caveman days using uh, stone tablets and chisels was index cards, and this is it today. All right, so let's get back up here to this. So look what you can do on look what you can do on one website. If you've been investing for very long for a long time, you can remember when we would go to real estate conferences or I would have a boot camp or a seminar. Or I'd speak somewhere. We'd have somebody at a vendor table, exhibit, what have you, or even make a presentation when websites were becoming all the rage. And they'd want you to buy not one website, not two websites, but five websites. They want you to buy one for your rental properties. They want you to buy one to buy houses. They want you to buy one uh, to find private lenders. They want you to buy one to sell houses. They want you to buy one. It's just, you see what I'm saying? So they'd end up selling you five, six websites in a bundle that cost you an arm and a leg every month. And I'm just like, man, I want to do that. These folks are my friends, okay? But I'm like, I don't want to have five websites that I got to bounce around into and all this kind of stuff. So I figured out how to do it all on one website, okay? And I'm going to show you some of the benefits here. And let me get the sales pitch out of the way, okay? You can get what I'm going to show you if you're a brand new customer, okay, and never had gold membership, you can get it for $1 and try it free for 30 days and you get the website with it. Okay, after that, $49 a month. And I'm telling you, it's the best $49 you can spend because I'm going to show you why, okay? So I hope you like the chainsaw story and I hope it made sense. Did that make sense to you, Alex and A? Yep. Yep. Yep, that you got to start the engine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so most of us are not. We're treating our websites like the chainsaw. Okay, so let me show you a benefit here real quick. And this will blow your mind. Okay. I went into Google. Okay. And I punched in, as you can see, buy my house Louisville. And you can try this too from anywhere. If you've got your Google machine open, you can try this. Buy my house Louisville. And I want to show you something. So we got 98,400,000 results, okay? And yeah, Google pulls that up pretty fast. So I'm gonna scroll down through here. And when it says sponsored, that means somebody's paid, okay? They're paying money to be placed there, okay? There's another sponsor, sponsor. Okay, look at who's number one. This is how to, they're beating out Keller Williams, Century 21, Remax, everybody, me. Reading me. <laughs> Look who's number one on or what's called an organic search. He's not paying one red cent for advertising. No Google AdWords, none of that expensive, complicated stuff. Okay, look at that. Buy my house, Louisville. Okay. Number one out of 98,400,000. He probably doesn't even know this. So you click on it and it takes you to. His website. Need to sell your Louisville, Kentucky house fast? Wow. Okay. This is his carrot website that he gets with his gold membership. Well, he's a platinum member, but every membership gets a, a free web, carrot website. Okay. So let's do another one. He lives in Mattoon, Illinois but he's number one for buying houses in Louisville? Does he have multiple websites? No, he's doing it all on one website, okay? So now if you go click on his home, the home page here, here's some rentals he's got available right now, okay? Wow, and if you click on buy my house, buy my house in Mattoon, buy my house in Decatur, Illinois, okay? So let's go over here. Let's go back to Google for a moment. Buy my house, Decatur, Illinois, okay? So here's sponsored, sponsored, sponsored. 
sponsored. These are paid ads. Uh, this is organic. Okay, that's a national outfit. We buy houses.com. Then uh, Heartland buys houses, bigger equity. Look at here. He's number four for Buy My House Decatur, Illinois, out of what? 7,600,000. 7, 600,000. That's outrageous. Absolutely outrageous. Okay. So here's my point. You can have Google help you out. You can get on the first page of Google with a carrot website. Okay. Now, how does T.O. Is T.O. on the call? If you are, unmute yourself and, and chime in. No, he's not, Mike. Okay. Thank you. All right. So anyway, that's, and, and it all comes from this website here. So his homepage is his homes available for rent, short-term rentals. He's doing the VRBOs on lake house properties. He's just rocking and rolling and killing it, okay? And then he's got, uh, if you want to apply for any of these, let's you click on that, and then you can apply online. But guess what? Here's something that's pretty cool that a lot of us don't do. I disagree. I 100% disagree for his application fee. Okay, We do an individual application fee of 40 bucks but he wants one per household, $25, okay? And that's fine. But if they click here, they got to pay him $25 before they get the fill-in-the-blank online rental application. And how would you like to have that happen? Okay, I can remember when I got started, I'd meet people at a house and this and that. You got your paper application, or maybe like you give it to them on a cell phone or tablet or something. Well, it was always like trying to pull teeth to get them to pay an application fee. Not anymore. Okay, so they got to pay that application fee before they can apply. It's pretty good. Okay, and that's sort of like pre-screening them because guess what? You got to have a credit card or a debit card or something to be able to, to pay for the application fee. I like that. Okay, so um, so what we let's go back and look at this one more time. Buy my house. Little, and this kind of irks me because he's beating out my own website. Okay. They paid, oh, what, what we got? 98 million. Okay. There he is. Number one organic. How in the world does he do that? Okay. Well, I'll tell you how he does it. See this part over here? Okay. The chainsaw thing. All he did, all he did is he went into the back office of his website. He went into the back office of his website. He added a page, okay, that can't be seen on his homepage. Then he just followed the steps. And they give you a little, uh, they give, just like a traffic light, they give you green, yellow, red, okay? And so you just work your way through that and punch in the things uh, until you get a green light. Punch in the things till you get another green light. And you just work. That's what he did. He probably spent an afternoon doing that learning how to put gas in the chainsaw and putting oil in it and running it, sharpening the, the blade and all that. And right now, I set it and forget it. So uh, it just blows me away. And uh, so I'm going to see where, where the heck I'm at. And so there's a, a lot of folks on here. If you Google your town, buy my house, sell my house, sell my home, buy my home uh, in your town, the majority, the huge majority, I'm going to say 75%, maybe 80% of the organic search results on the first page of Google are all carrot websites, okay? Not the Mike Butler version, but they're carrot websites. And carrot will sell you five different websites if you want to also. So there's Fred Helm. He's right here. Uh, are you on there, Fred? I'm seeing but anyway, um, where am I? He's number, how do you get to be number one? And I'm the, I know we're down here. Oh, we buy houses Louisville. Oh, I do. We rent homes. Okay. Rapid fire. 
So what that tells me is that there I am right here, Vista Properties. So I'm still on the first page of Google, okay? But look how far down on the page I am. So in order for me to get bumped up higher, I need to go in to the back office of my website and do what TL, do what Tom did. And if I turn, if I follow all the steps in there and make everything green lights, okay? They got two, they got tutorials show you how to do it step by step. Uh, then I'm confident that I can bump up higher. But it just blows my mind. He lives in Illinois, and he's number one organic for buy my house little. Okay, uh, let's do. Uh, I'm gonna try homes for rent. My tune. That's where he lives. Let's see if he comes up here. Uh, do 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 do. He's got a bunch of them in here. All these national outfits. He's going to pop up down here somewhere, I imagine. Well, there he is. Okay. Houses for rent. Okay. So if we put houses, let's see, that's out of 652,000. That's small town. But let's put houses for rent, Mattoon. And it probably gets a, he might be up here a little bit higher. And I don't want to waste your time doing that, but here's, here's what I'm getting to. Get on your Google, your own Google machine, okay, and punch in, buy my house, uh, your city and state, if there's other cities around the country, buy my house, sell my house, okay? He's number one. He, he beats out. Did I do sell my house, Louisville? I'm sorry. Let me try this. Okay. Now, who are you competing here? Let's say you're looking for a real estate agent. Might people punch in sell my house, Louisville? Okay. So let's see what happens. So sponsored, sponsored, sponsored. You okay, they're paying for it. Uh, I know I did this the other day and I was impressed. Cash offer covenant home buyer sisters. That, that's a carrot website. Um, my house is in Kentucky. Well, what's interesting here, guys, I don't see Remax agents. I don't see Keller Williams. I don't see Century 21, EXP Realty, all those kind of things. Investors like me and you are beating out all of these folks when somebody says, sell my house, okay? And uh, it does. And another thing I want to point out while I'm scrolling through this is paintedladyinc.com. What does that say about real estate? So all this stuff that you've got to have a big old long sell my house, Louisville.com, does that help? Yeah, it probably does, Okay. But you don't have to have that. Mine is VistaKY.com. And I still get great results. So um, I thought he was on here too. Yeah, he is. Oh, you found him? Yep. Okay, so he's farther down the page. But anyway, he's on here on the first page, right? Yeah, he's on the first page. Okay. So let, here's his website, okay? So... Let me share with you uh, what we've covered here. So one is if you if you use your chainsaw properly, you can get on the first page of Google. Okay, we just saw it. You can get on the first page of Google for another city. So our platinum member, Phil Rosen, I'm not sure if he's on here or not, but he's buying properties in Jacksonville, Florida. He lives in Miami. He's going to buy investment property. He already has investment property in Jacksonville, Florida, and Louisville, Kentucky. And so he's getting hits on that, and I'm helping him set it up so that he can do the same thing that Tom has going on with what you just saw. Okay? So get on the first page. I'm scribbling this down. I know i got this blocking it right now. Okay, number two is get paid first before they fill out a rental application. The other thing is what's cool about this, like we 
I'm going to try this. I haven't done it in a while, but let's click on this house here. Uh, Shelbyville, Illinois, Decatur. So let's click on this one and see what happens. So it says it's for rent. He's got all kinds of photos up here. This is a short-term rental, I guess, maybe, with uh, it's furnished. Okay, maybe VRBO or something like that. And so he's got all the pictures in here. He's got a great description. Make sure you you um, uh, don't violate any fair housing things, okay? And it says, there's the address, square feet. I mean, it's fill in the blank. He didn't build this page. All he did is fill in the form. And boom, he makes it active. So it's, look at there. He didn't do this map. It does the map automatically for you. It also does a satellite view if you want to see that, okay? You can do street view. Then you can do a larger one. Like here's a street view. Does this show that? Look, this is all automatic for you inside your Carrot website. So, ooh, that's an ugly house. That might be it. But anyway, uh, that picture doesn't do it justice. But it's a Google picture, okay? So he didn't take any photos on the outside. The map does all that for him. And let's see what else. I'm in equal housing, okay? Um, here's what other, he's got some uh, testimonials in there. There's T.O. himself, okay? And then uh, please call me back ASAP. If they want to rent this one, uh, they can apply online. And when they do that, it takes them to this page here, okay? And they got to pay their 25 bucks before they get the fill-in-the-blank online rental application. Isn't that pretty neat? So we go back here, and and here's what's neat about this. So let's say, let's say that T.O. gets this one here rented, okay? When he gets it rented, he doesn't delete it. What he does is he hides it, okay? He hides it so that when it becomes available again, all he has to do is change his, update his rent price, bingo, and it goes right back on the website as an active, vacant, uh, ready, rent-ready property. Isn't that neat? Okay, so it's how do we use that chainsaw? We got to learn how to use the chainsaw. Okay, I'm gonna, I've got some. If you'll notice across the top here, I've got some other folks, uh, gold, diamond, and platinum member websites that have different looks. Okay, and you can control this now. To he likes the Herman Munster houses, the big two and three story behemoth things that I wouldn't touch with a ten foot pole. But he and his wife love those things. And then they, it's called Painted Ladies, I guess, from San Francisco or something. And in old Louisville in my town, we've got a whole area with those kind of properties. And they just love driving down the street looking at them. And uh, I don't like them. But he got in here and butchered up the colors and all that kind of stuff. And um, it's okay. All right. So let's look at another one here. Uh, this one is Phil's. And so when... When people go to his web page, his website, they get this buy my house, sell my house fast form, and they just fill in the blanks. Okay. And uh, he says he, he buys in Jacksonville and Louisville, Kentucky. Okay. Another one here is affordable dream properties. If I'm not mistaken, I think this is uh, Joanne Armstrong. And so she's got homes, online application, a residence, buy my house, investors. Okay, she wholesales properties to investors, testimonials, frequently asked questions. You don't have to build this stuff. Uh, if we go back to TOs, for example, uh, see where it says frequently asked questions? This is the very same stuff I have on my own website, and it pre-populates it all for you. And you can edit this any way you want. And I like this little cartoon. You know, we love animals. That'll be down there somewhere. Yeah, see, we got Pretty Bird and what's, I forget the cat's name. Uh, it's not Snagglepuss. But anyway, so you got all these frequently asked questions already built in there. And you can edit it. You can change it. Do whatever you want. So let's, here's uh, Joanne Armstrong's. Okay. So she's got these available for rent. And then neat. She's in uh, Greenville. Is that one of the Carolinas or something or Virginia? I don't know. And uh, online application. and. And so you can tweak this any way that you want. I'm going to show you different ones. Here's J-Lane Management. So they're looking primarily to buy houses, okay? And so Murfreesboro, Tennessee, and he doesn't have any rental properties on this page. 
on this website. That's all he wants to do, I guess, is probably wholesale. And uh, I guess that's it. Okay, so how it works, he added that. So you can do this. Uh, GLJ Properties, okay? This is a apply online. He's got, he says, I don't want to get an application fee. I just want him to fill out an application now. And uh, so that's a page there. Stanley Housing. This is Stanley in uh, Kansas City, Missouri, Kansas. And so he's got all of he all of these have been sold. Okay, well, he's I guess he's keeping them up there for a reason, but you can flag, you'll see some we're gonna go through where it says rented, sold, uh, or home for sale, home for rent. Blah, blah, blah. And you just fill out the forms that they have for you. It's real, green dead simple. Uh, Taylor, this is, uh, oh, what? You know, Bill Taylor up in uh, Indiana somewhere. So uh, he rents by the hour as low as $210 an hour in uh, Anderson uh, County, I guess. And uh, there's Phil. Phil's come in there. We already went past yours. Um, and we got turnkey rentals. This one's mine. So we got apartments for sale. This is uh 34 bedrooms, 17 units, two bedroom, one bath brick building. And, uh, I've had that for 20 something years. And so it'll be turnkey, uh, Cheshire. This is Brian Sterling. Okay. Up in, uh, New Hampshire. I think it is, but look at this. He's got a, he added a page called compare. He added this himself. Okay. And I haven't, uh, I think it's pretty neat. So you can, uh, he spent a little time polishing this and uh, making it, well, allowing his website to be interactive. So how it works, sell your house. So if we click on this, they'll, they'll have a fill in the blank. Okay. We buy properties, any condition. And then you'll click somewhere else and get to the forum. Uh, JD Properties, if I think this is Juan Jewell, if he's, uh, no, that's not, no, this is Jesse and Diane in Iowa and see how they got rented on those. Okay. Uh, they're not utilizing this best they can because I can tell these, you know, he's got three of them rented. I know he's got more properties than that. Uh, this is Fred Helm in Louisville, Kentucky. And this is this three carat website that he gets. Okay. And he's got lease to own, buy my house. And just look at this, watch you, property management. Okay. And this is Randy Hammer's H2 Homes Holdings.com. And he's got a $10,000 option fee. Okay. And he's got a home for rent. Was that one in uh, Indianapolis? He's got properties in Florida too. He's a, uh, going hog wild with that stuff. I don't know if he's on here or not. And this one here, all in properties, CA. I bet that's California. So home lease option, home for rent. It got rented, 2100 bucks. Condo for rent. Okay, we'll apply online, frequently asked questions, see if this doesn't look a little bit familiar. Okay, see if we got the cartoon thing with the dog and I'm not the cat and the Tweety Bird. Yep. Okay, so you get all that's already set up for you. And you can go back and change anything you want. This one here, I don't know the company name. It says Making Home Solutions. Um, but they got By My House. They got that as their homepage. Okay, here's another one. Uh, rebuilt Properties. Where's that at? They don't even have a phone number. You use the Call Me ASAP form. Okay, and uh, so I don't like them calling me. I want them to fill out a form online. And, and here's what's good about these guys. They can access this 24-7, 365, Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's, whatever, 4th of July, all that stuff, okay? And, uh, and, and in my town, Derby is a national holiday, Kentucky Derby, that horse race. Okay, here's one for rent for $49.50. So I don't know where that's at, but pretty expensive. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, this one here, Evergreen House Buyers. They're, I would assume, uh, this is somewhere, uh, Washington or Oregon or something. And, you know, they took the whole, oh, in Washington. So 
uh, they went in there and added all this themselves and tweaked it. Spent a little time doing it, okay? But uh, you can make yours like that. Uh, next one, let's see, perch view properties, wherever, wherever area code 213 is. So they have their homepage go right to buy my house form, okay? Then uh, they have homes for rent, frequently asked questions. That's still the same. This one here, oh, great living solutions. We buy houses in Detroit, Michigan, okay? These are all uh, gold, diamond, platinum member carrot websites, okay? And so I would just want to show you that these things look professional. And if you, if you spend some time on your website, like putting gas and oil in your chainsaw and keeping it sharp, it works. But once you set it up and make everything the green light that I talked about that T.O. did, then you too are going to be on the first page of Google. Okay. So uh, does anybody have any questions on that part? Okay. Jump in right now. Hey, Mike, it's Cassandra from California. Hello, Cassandra. Did I show your website? Yes, you did. Thank you. Which one was it? It was the California one. It was all in properties. All in properties. Keep going. Keep going. Well, there yeah. it was. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. So I think I saw somewhere in one of your emails that uh, somebody on your team is available for an hourly rate to do some modifications to our website. Uh, yes, we're going to, we've got that going, but we're going to have a, like a flat fee, whatever, whatever it is that you want to add. Okay. Okay. And, uh, so that you'll know, I think it's better to give you just a, here's what it's going to cost to do that. Here's what it's going to cost to do this. So give me an example of what you'd like to have, and I can give you an answer, um, uh, on it. Um, uh, actually, I don't have anything specific right now, but I, I have some ideas, but, uh, okay. well, how about this? So I know you're in California. Do you buy properties in different cities that are a little bit farther apart than yes. where you invest? Mm -hmm. Yes or no? Yes, that is true. Okay. So then you could do like T.O. So T.O. has his rental properties in Mattoon, Illinois, Decatur, Illinois. But if you if you were on here earlier, I showed everybody where if you punch in buy my house Louisville, guess who popped up? PO's website. There's a page, buy my house Louisville. All on one website. So if you if you're in I don't know what town you're in. Uh uh El Segundo, Lawndale, Van uh Van okay, I can't I can't pronounce those words. <laughs> okay. But where else would you like to buy? Uh, other than California? Or no, no, no. Well, anywhere. Anywhere in the U.S. Where else would you like to buy? Uh, what city, even if it's in California? Uh, let's say Riverside, California. Okay. So is that a pretty good piece from where you invest now? Yeah, it's about an hour, hour and a half drive away. Okay. So what we what we could do is create a page by my house in Riverside. Okay. And then it would show up on buy my house when you did a Google search for buy my house, sell my house, Riverside. I see. So pretty much have a page for each of the major cities. Yes, for the major cities. And then, and they would be uh, hidden, okay? They would be hidden within your website. So like T.O.'s, for example, he's got buy my house, Mattoon, Illinois. Well, you won't find on his page just by clicking you won't find the Buy My House Louisville page because it's like hidden in the back. Yeah. Okay. okay. So but yeah, way we can, that would just be adding a page. Yeah. And uh, Alex and I have got to review the, the prices to do that and what you want. So if you wanted a page for a different city, different state, whatever, uh, that's just going to be adding a page just like T.O. did, okay, that you saw earlier. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Great. Right. Thank you. Who else got a question? Oh, okay. So let me move on to the next thing. Okay. Uh, any questions on, let's see if we can find where TOs is. Okay. So any questions on 
uh, the rental application, getting them to pay before they get your fill in the blank online rental application. Yes, it's Cassandra again. So if I wanted to add, I don't think I have that right now on my page. If I wanted to add that, would be the, um, you, I could contact you guys to get a price. Yes. Okay. Alex, Alex does that. And here's, here's what used to happen. It used to be we could do all that in-house. Okay. But in order for them to pay an application fee, we're going to use your PayPal accounts. Okay. So it used to be they would give us a temporary password. Alex would go in there in your PayPal account and set it all up. He knows how to do that. And he could do it all without you being involved. Okay. And then you just go back and change your password. So Alex can't get back in it again. Well, in today's world, with all this two-factor auth, I can't even say the word. Can somebody help me out? Authentication or something and all this other stuff. What, what uh, Alex will do is a Zoom meeting with you and you'll have to be with him and then he will uh, tell you where to go, what to do for your PayPal, punch that in and he can do uh, like screen share kind of thing where you can give him control and then he can just set it up, boom, 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 and it's done. Otherwise, uh, we've discovered that it's hurt near impossible for us to do that without you being involved. How long does that take? Let's ask Alex. Alex, how long does it take for you to set up uh, folks to pay the application fee first before they get the fill in the blank online rental application? Well, it should take less than 30 minutes to set it up. Yeah, less than 30 minutes. And that's if he has problems. So Alex is pretty fast at this stuff and he's good and he's great. Okay. Okay. So if any, so if anybody has a carrot website and you want to make them pay the application fee before they get your rental application, uh, let us know. Give me a call at five zero two. I'll, I'll write that down. Where's what's that number? Five zero two seven zero nine nine eight eight nine nine eight eight nine. Okay. And if you've never been a gold member before you can get it for a buck for 30 days okay no contracts or anything like that and you'll get the free website to tune up like your chainsaw okay um all right so let me move on to something else so getting paid first we talked about that now here's something that's really pretty neat okay and i was working with i don't know if kurt is on here today it's one of our platinum members and oh, I see Angelique out in Seattle. Yes, yes, ma'am. You're there. Okay. So um, I want to show you what I'm working on with Kurt. And I'm going to be, we're going to be able to add this if you want it. Okay. So I'm going to show you what I have on my website. And then what we're going to be able to do is to add this to your, to your website for a fee. And then Alex can, he can do that in short order in probably 15 minutes. So what I'm going to show you here is my tenant's maintenance request form, okay? I don't care if you're using any other kind of software, okay, to help you with managing your rental properties or something like that. This is powerful, okay? And it works, right? So the maintenance request form, Okay, we want our residents to click on that QR code so they can do it from their phone because you're going to see how beautiful this is in just a few months as I work through this screen. Maintenance request form, it's unlike any other. And you're going to, I'm not going to say make money on it, but here's, here's a problem that a lot of landlords, property managers run into is you'll have a resident call in a maintenance request or what have you. And calling it in is the worst thing in the world to do because I, unless you save that recording, I want proper documentation. I want it in their own words with a date and time stamp, and they can have access to it 24 seven. I'll tell you why here in a second, it comes out of my book. So uh, we want them to use their phone. 
and then we go down. Oh, what I was going to say is how many times has a repair been made that was, was the tenant? Okay, so you got a clogged up sink and they pull out a toothbrush or a Tonka, Tonka truck or something, okay? Or, uh, you know, one time I had uh, the tenant called and said my toilet stopped up. Well, the guys go down there and clean it out. Yep, flush is fine. She calls up the next day and said, hey, Oh, it's clogged up. Went down there, cleaned it out, worked fine. Called back the third day. And she says, toilet's clogged up. I said, Danny, go down there, take that toilet up off the floor, see what's in there. She says, if I pee, it goes down, but if I take a dump, it doesn't. Okay, guess what? There was a ham hock bone wedged in the toilet. And, and Danny tried to get it out of there and ended up cracking the toilet. All right, so that whole mess was caused by the tenant. She dumped her bean soup in the toilet, okay? That's tenant chargeable, isn't it? I think every one of us would say that, okay? So we charged her whatever it was for the toilet, you know, three trips of labor, you know, a brand new toilet, the labor to put it in, all this and that. And we had documentation. We didn't have websites back then, but that's an example of a tenant-caused uh, repair. So you want to have good documentation on that. So watch this. Here's what happens. So uh, we give them tips for heating and air conditioning. So heat, you know, things got a little helpful tips to do before you submit this. But anyway, put in their street name. So we can put in, for example, uh, let's do main uh, one, two, three, uh, first name. Let's put, uh, I'm going to put Cassandra since she volunteered. Okay. Uh, Princess, and oh, let's see. I'm going to put uh, news at mikebutler.com as an email, and I want them to confirm it, okay, so they don't screw it up, okay? Because all it takes is the fat finger one character, and as you know, it won't work, okay? Oh, it says email does not match because of the case. Uh, so I got to make it case sensitive here. Sorry. Okay, and then uh, cell phone. I'm gonna put 702, 709. Oh, what did I do? Oh, 989. Alternate, let's do 502, 709, 989. Okay, talking to your phone. Okay, so I like this. People don't know this. Okay, people like maybe AJ Fox, maybe Roger Donaldson. Okay. But looking on the bottom of your cell phone, guys, if you when you have your keyboard up somewhere on their Apple phone, Android phone, it doesn't matter. Somewhere you're going to see a little microphone. OK, see that there. And I got to teach this to my maintenance guys, too. So somewhere on your keyboard, you'll see a microphone. We'll touch that microphone. OK, when you're doing this on your phone and then what you can do is put your cursor here and start talking. OK, so the. Uh, front door uh, bashed in, okay? And I'm going to do this and broken. This is a true story what I'm going to put in here. Uh, okay. Number four, got in fight with baby daddy number three, threw him out of apartment and then kick the door in. Okay. Now, how long has it been like this? Uh, oh, let's say about two hours. Okay, because they did this like three o'clock in the morning and additional comments, whatever they want. Okay, list anything helpful to their maintenance staff. Okay. Now, the story on this one, the story on this one, guys, is this is an apartment building and Remember, she has access to this 24-7. So it's first of the month. All the baby daddies come over is what she said. And then they got in a fight when they were drinking and got drunk. And then number three, kicked the door in. Well, she was doing this like 3 o'clock on Saturday night, which would be actually Sunday morning. And if we didn't have this and you didn't have this, she would wait till Monday, okay, probably, to call the office, right? Well, guess what? You think her story might change then? 
I guarantee you the story would change. It would say somebody tried to break into my apartment. Well, nothing. But if she does this and puts it in her own words, now you got evidence, you got proof to charge them for replacing, repairing that, that front door properly. Okay, sometimes they fill out extra stuff in here. Just give them another place to throw up. It's not going to hurt you. Okay, now photos. So now they can get on here and I'll, uh, let's see, my, I'll try this. So if they're on their cell phone, they can click that and boom, it'll take a uh, platform once to use your camera. Okay. So da, 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 da. see, so we can take a picture like that. Okay. And they, they can take up to five photos and this will really help out your guys. Um, to identify what the problem is. You don't want them to make two trips. You don't want them to go, well, let me go over and look and see what it is. Oh, okay, now i got to go and do this. Now i got to come back. Okay, if you can get enough information to get that knocked out in one trip, it's going to save you a lot of money, okay, and keep them happy. Now, please select two or three preferred scheduled appointments. So i got weekdays before noon, weekdays after 12 noon, and then any time. And so... They check the boxes. Okay, so they say, okay, Wednesday, I'm, I'm off on Wednesday, so that'll work. Okay. And what kind of animals or pets do you have? I got uh, uh, two pit bulls and three roosters. Okay. Now, if you notice, that's a required field. So tenants in your bread and butter uh, rental properties, okay, in blue collar neighborhoods, let's say, they don't remember what's on the lease, okay? I don't want my maintenance guy, okay, to have another task on his plate in his head. Oh, they're authorized to have two animals or this and that. Don't worry about that. Let's just find out if they got animals and ask them. So what if they put in there, got two pit bulls and three roosters, Okay, well, my resident manager, which could be you if you're manage, self-managing, well, then you can look at their lease and say, hey, do they have two dogs and three roosters in their lease? Because two dogs is $25 a month extra for each animal if it's approved, pit bulls or not. Okay, so that's going to be a rental agreement or lease violation. Okay, but they're answering that. Okay, we're not saying, do you have permission? So describe animals in your home to let your maintenance, and we put in there to let your maintenance person know, okay? And so it looks like we're trying to uh, be polite to their animals and keep our maintenance people safe, okay? The next part is, I understand and acknowledge, please check each box this is required. I will receive text messages to schedule my appointment. I authorize the approved maintenance service person to enter my home during business hours unless it's an emergency. Okay. And then who submits this? What I found out is sometimes, let's say, uh, who we have, Cassandra as a tenant. Well, it might be her boyfriend or her mother that fills this out and put, so they can just put Cassandra's mom. Okay. And then you click this. And then I put a reminder down here earn free money for a referral. Okay. And then we click submit. Now, watch this. Look what happens here. Oh, got a required field. Okay, I'm going to put blah, blah. Okay, so it tells them that that's a required field. They got to fill something out. Now we do submit. Does it work? Uh, do I have another required field? Let's see. What did I do wrong here? I'm going to try it one more time. Oh, it says, please wait. It's supposed to give you a success page. There it is. Congratulations, Cassandra Princess. It worked. Your resident maintenance request has been received for 123 Main Street, Apartment 3. Uh, you'll be contacted via text message during business hours or cell phone assist. Okay. So that's kind of neat. So that lets them know we got it. Okay. Now, what I do in my office is I'll have Rebecca, when, when this comes in, I'll get an email for it, okay? And it goes to several people in my office, so it should see, where did it pop up here yet? No. 
Not yet, it, but it will. New, re, new maintenance request. See that? And so here's what we get on our end. This is what you'll get on your end when they fill it out. Isn't that kind of neat? All right there in that email. Now, what's cool about this, it says zero minutes ago. Now you got a date and time stamp on this, and it also saves it in your website. In the back office of your carrot website, you can it, it saves all of these. So you can go back and look and not have to worry about putting it in a folder somewhere on your computer or something like that. Okay. And oh, well, my wife was talking about a uh, farm machinery show coming in here. But anyway, uh, so that's pretty good. So now back to this. So when we get this, okay, Rebecca who answers the phone in my office. She's going to call the tenant and ver clarify, verify to make sure everything's right. So, for example, when I say clarify and verify, I might put in there the sink is leaking, okay? Well, is that the faucet or is that the drain? Is it the bathroom sink or the kitchen sink? See where I'm going with that? So she'll clean up that kind of stuff. And then once she gets that cleared, then she creates a work order, okay? So uh, that's pretty neat. And so I'm building that inside a carrot now. And you can have this added to your carrot website uh, for a flat fee uh, when me and Alex get to that. How much could it be? It might, I don't know, somewhere between 25, 50 bucks, I don't know, something like that. And we'll have to see how long it takes him to do it. And then we'll set it up as a flat fee. So if you want to have a resident maintenance request page, reform, put on your carrot website, we can do that for you. Okay. So um, we had some folks drop off. So who else got a question on here before I pull the plug on this one? Hey, Mike. Yeah. My website still doesn't, uh, it accepts payments, but you can fill out the application before they accept payments. Who is this? Juan. Oh, Juan. Okay. You're still sick? Tired. I've been up all night. Oh. Uh, it that was. Sweet. It, uh, no. Just uh, partying. Makala, Makala sick? No, Malachi. Malachi not sick. He, uh, oh, I, I'm getting better, ain't I? Yeah, yeah, that was what well, that, <laughs> that that was spot on. That was spot on. That's that's pretty good. Okay, uh, I'm gonna see if and we then got... I did something to the website that you said not to do when we first set it up, and I didn't realize I messed anything up until I started realizing I was the people were paying the application fee. So I didn't think nothing of it. But then when I went in to mess around with it a different time, I was like, oh, you can fill the application out and not even pay. So I tried to fix it again. And then we talked about it. And then we got on some some deals, which which was more important to me. OK, <laughs> so, so here, here's what we we'll do. Worst case scenario, we'll fix this tomorrow. I've got a couple of coaching sessions coming up today. And uh, yeah, we'll get that fixed. So you're you're they can pay. It's already set up for you, right? Yeah, as far as I know, they can pay because I've been getting application fees. And then I told them if you, uh, I told them if, hey, if you don't get accepted, I'll, I'll send it back to you. Um, that's been going okay. No, 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 you don't do that. Oh, well, I, well, the I application didn't fee, The application fee is not only if they get approved. The application fee is the fee for you to process it. Okay. okay? Now, for example, let's say you got a vacant a home rent, rent ready and you get five applications. We'll go with the first one. If they qualify, bingo, okay? And give them their 24 hours to perform. And if you get that rented, well, then the other four, you can you, got, you tell them you can do one of two things. One, I can give you a refund because I haven't processed your application. Or two, we can process your application and then you'll get the next available rent ready home. Okay, that makes okay. a lot more sense. Yeah, okay. and uh, that's good. So, Angelique, unmute yourself, lady. No, uh oh, she might not be close to her pewter. Yeah. Okay, we got Louisville Metro Housings in here. Okay, 
I don't know who that is, but that's good. Okay, can you unmute yourself and talk? Hi there, Mike. It is Angelique. Oh, hello. No things going on out there on your side of the country. Oh, we've had some record low temperatures for Seattle, 17, which is very unusual here. But otherwise, yes. going good. Good, good, good. And uh, did you have a good set of holidays? Holidays, is that what you said? Yes, holidays. Yeah. Yeah, yeah good. Yeah. Okay. Angelique is the president of the Seattle Real Estate Investors Association. She's got a great big group out there. They're awesome. And she's very thank active you. and involved in that. So thank you. Okay. Well, it's a little bit after uh, top of the hour. And I've gone over. So to get your, hey, Mike, you've never been question. a gold. Do what? Can I ask a quick, quick question? Oh, Michael Jackson, go ahead. Um, not everybody monitors their website all the time. Can we get a text message sent to us letting us know the request has been made? Uh, run that by me again. Can we get, receive a text message from the system showing us that a request has been made for maintenance since none of us all monitor our websites as well as we should? Oh, you don't have to monitor the website. It, it gets emailed to you automatically. Okay, so it's done by email. Okay. Yeah, you can also okay. receive so, text messages. Okay. Uh, Alex, did you say that yes, we can send it text message too? Yes, you can set it up with Carrot <laughs> so that they can receive text See, messages. I told you he was good. Okay, he knows this stuff better than me and you, Michael. <laughs> great, thanks. That's great. Okay, so now I can add that on there and you can get a text message too. We'll have all that set up. Okay, to send it to whatever phone number you want it to. So that's pretty cool. And then with the emails, like what I shared with you when I got that maintenance request email, well, that goes to like five people. So it goes to my resident manager, it goes to Rebecca, my front desk, it goes to Ben, my maintenance supervisor, it goes to Crystal, the resident manager, and then Kevin, our office manager. Okay. So I guess I bored everybody else. We're going to pull the plug on this. So go get dealmachine.com. And uh, I'm going to put this up here and get two weeks free. And I'll put and use promo code M Butler. I'll put $10 in your account. Dealmachine.com, enter promo code, coupon code M Butler, 10 bucks, two weeks free. And after that, it's $59 a month. It is awesome. I encourage everyone that's buying, okay? If you're still buying and growing your real estate business, you got to have it. And then the other is just go to MikeButler.com, join up here. And sign up for gold membership for a buck if you've never been a gold, diamond, or platinum member. And you get 30 days with the website to kick it, play with it like your chainsaw. Okay? All right, guys. That concludes this one. And uh, see you on the next one. Wow. This wraps up another powerful investor training session. And congratulations to you for investing your time learning to work smarter and not harder. I want to invite you to grab more free investor trainings, including my podcast, coaching, mentoring, home training systems, and memberships with a free carrot website, and so much more, all in one place, online at MikeButler.com. Thanks again, and I'm looking forward to seeing you on our next training session. And please remember, life does not have a pause or rewind button. The ball's in your court, so take action now. To your continued success, signing off, Mike Butler.